The people who took the leadership, who took over the leadership of Uganda and steered it to independence were opportunists. A community gathering in a liberated area in Luero during the early days of the war. Among them, NRA top political leaders and fighters. To the country or for the country, the nationalists were thrown out. And to a certain extent, these, some of these Greeks were supported by the colonial power. Gatherings such as this were the genesis of the popular participatory grassroots democracy that gradually metamorphosed into the resistance councils. The democratic administrative structures that were expanded and introduced across the country after NRA took power. And when we came out with the 10-point program, point number one, we said the, the best, the, the first solution to, any, to the country is to accept democracy rule of the majority and to hand power back to the population. We came and restructured the administration of Uganda, restructured it in the sense we established all these councils from, from we, we put in enabling laws to, to run a council, resist council one, council two, council three, um, the district council, uh, then the national, the national council, the NRC. We put in enabling clauses. We, we changed the, the laws, the negative laws that Idamin had put in place and uh, amended all those laws. As per the 10 point program, in 1988, the first resistance council elections were held. It was the countrywide exercise that was embraced with a lot of enthusiasm, with voters freely lining up behind their candidates of choice without fear. I was, was lining up. We didn't have ballot papers and, and ballot boxes. I think the first ones were in 89 uh, or before. The other things were open. Yeah. They were open, lined up. You run up behind your candidate. People thought that was a kind of rigging some people who believe in Western democracy. No. But the, most people thought that that was the best election they ever had. Because the people are going behind somebody they, they believed in. Well, they say that someone was trying to run Somebody was saying that no secret. Yeah, that but who was threatening you? At the, at the yeah, because he could look behind and see, oh, my wife is not behind me, so yes. and one of them, I go back home, <laughs> I'm going to be no, And the other story that the, one, the, wife, the wife said, if, why, why do you vote for that man? Me, I know him better. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't vote him, why do you have to ride behind him? But some people liked it. Because it was cheap. It was direct. For the first time in the history of Uganda, people exercised their democratic rights and chose their leaders on the basis of individual merit. So we handed back to the population each and every place Everybody participated, became a member of parliament to decide matters with the LC system. They used to sit, and even those people who are who contend to want position of leadership, they talk to this group, they present themselves. After that, then these people deliberate and they decide. So the people had actually seen real democracy. And even ourselves, who would have said, by the way, I'm historical, I'm the one who started, I should not be elected. We subjected our citizens. Said in deciding the future, I might have died. So please, this time decide. We all our workers, we fought and I brought the thing to you. So all of us, we are part and a part of that process. It was the best consensus ever since Uganda was ever done. From the lower village resistance councils, a new system of representation was created all the way to the national level, forming a legislative body that embraced people from divergent political leanings, the expanded National Resistance Council. And uh, again brought a number of people on board, 
it was one of our measures of you know trying to, to heal the wounds to unite the country. The new legislative body was a hybrid of erstwhile enemies and political rivals, all swearing the same oath of allegiance as they braced to serve the legislative agenda of the government. I, Adima Betty. I, and I charge. I, Ali Moses. I, Kiza Amut Asa. I, Kintu Musoke. I, Kiria Barak. I, Kiria Pao Kangani Loi. Kisama Mgerwa. Ajat, Asmin Chiagach Tunzi. One of the key goals of the NRM was a broad system of governance. It was thus from this legislative body that a broad based or inclusive cabinet representing the diverse political views was appointed to lead the country for the first time. NRA, NRM as a movement system, which had taken on board all the political thinking of all the parties that were present in Uganda. Radicals, uh, conservatives, uh, middle of the road, um, center right, center left, all had been taken on board and President Seven had formed a broad-based government, which included everybody. If you look at his first cabinet, was really dominated by DP. Second in numbers was UPC. He had taken on all these best brains and formed a government. We reached out to many people, not only to people who, who believed, like ourselves, in the struggle, but we included even those the people like the DPs and who had been disaffected by the others, but also included even the, 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 the elements of the UPCs. Who, 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 who we saw that felt to have been injured by being overthrown. We told them there is no need for you to be disaffected. Because the, the situation we are creating is to enable you also to take part, to be a Ugandan as everybody else. And this expansion was to give confidence to, to, all, to everybody. It was, a, it was actually a clarion call to everybody that the, the place is open for, for, for you. You can come in with your ideas as long as you, if you have honest ideas. Use them and you are open. And that's why many of us by then opted not to have wrestled with them. Over, over that kind of situation because they were coming in. We even, we even gave up the, the, the front positions we could have possibly have taken. Yes, the front positions we could, we could have thought we were entitled to. We gave those up and said, no, for the sake of the unity of the country. And, and these others look, look, look at the unity of the country only in terms of positions. <laughs> With us, we are not looking at it that way. Yeah? But with them, they're looking at it in terms of positions. Give them. Give them positions. Let us be here without positions. If, if that can unite the country. That was a good sacrifice. Now, the, the only issue was that once they have come into that, then they should, we should bring them into the fold so that gradually, step by step, they begin to imbibe the commonest ideas we have for the country. With the expanded NRC in place, the NRA had taken a big stride towards restoring power to the people, a key ingredient towards bringing about the country's political stability.